Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Killmaster Gaming. And we got some cool gaming news here. And we are on the Gametsu website. And I'm definitely, definitely excited to see what's going on with Nair Replicant. That's coming out in a few weeks. I want to see April 23rd. And in Japan, April 22nd from what I remember. And I'm pretty sure the article capitalizes off of that. Okay, Nair Replicant. Uh, went gold quite a while ago according to Square Enix producer Yoshi Seto that means development is complete and the game is ready for mass production in a tweet Seto said uh, Nier Replicant has gone gold quite a while ago so once the downloadable content is approved which is free this time which I do believe Nier Automata's uh, DLC wasn't free you had to pay for that we can finally take a break as for details on the downloadable content and its release date Seto said to stay tuned okay so we're going to read the follow-up article guys that came out some time ago all right and we are on the wccf tech site near replicant version uh our free dlc includes 2b and not s uh costumes as you can see right here it looks really cool the first free near replicant dlc pack has been revealed today thanks to leak on microsoft store according to the new listing uh, the four Yo Yoho DLC pack will include four additional costumes uh, from Nier Time and including 2B, 9S costume for the main character, uh, Kane, as well as four new weapons, okay? Which which I'm definitely excited for. Free DLC is always a good thing, <laughs> in my opinion, at times, as long as it's quality, okay? So we're going to read this right here. Nier Replicant is a new updated version of the first entry in the series, for those who don't know. Originally released on the PS3 and Xbox 360, Nier Castell came to America while Nier Replicant stayed in Japan. While the basics of the game haven't seen a major overhaul, the small tweaks uh, introduced uh, to the experience uh, go a long way to make it make it more enjoyable than before, as highlighted by uh, Kai in, uh, was in his uh, preview. Okay, definitely, definitely cool. Our near replicant version so far feels familiar in all the right ways. The muscle memory for our comboing with the with the Phoenix Spirit and Dark Whirlwind came back uh, after a decade away from Johan, and it took no time at all to f uh, feel comfortable with murdering through plenty of shades across the open fields. I'm eager to see what Yoho Toro will uh, change things up with between with between now. In the final release on April 23rd. After all, I don't think we'll see Square Enix publish a brand new Nier uh, title without changing things up in some interesting ways. With less than a month a month to go, um, uh, was until launch. I can certainly say that Nier Replicant version is one one of the most eagerly anticipated JRPGs to come in 2021. I definitely agree to that, and I'm definitely excited to get the game. I wish they had some affordable uh, uh what, is, what do you call special edition because i know one special edition comes with a figure and we really know how much that costs maybe 300 and something dollars that is pretty steep when it comes to uh a special special uh special release uh content that comes with our uh, games but anyway guys that about does it for this gaming news i have more videos that i'm going to be posting up so stay tuned on the channel also stay tuned for my streams guys I'm going to be streaming at least like maybe once or twice a week. And if I can fit in more, more than once or twice a week, uh, depending on my business and the bulk orders I've been getting as, as of lately with Strike and KOTs, guys. So stay tuned for my upcoming content and streaming. Okay?